Hello, this is Stefan from the Mod3D Tech team. In this quick tutorial we'll look at how to run SOLIDWORKS 2024 with the VR Bridge software Morvis. Assuming you have successfully downloaded, installed and licensed the Morvis VR Bridge software, please go ahead and launch the Morvis launcher. Inside of the launcher Expand the main GUI and start the application enabler and click locate known apps to find your SOLIDWORKS installation. Place the check mark to enable SOLIDWORKS for VR bridging with Morvis. In case you have installed SOLIDWORKS to a non-standard directory you can click the Add button and manually navigate to the target executable. This will add it to the list, just like Locate Known Apps did it for me now. Alright, once you have successfully placed the check mark here, you can close the enabler again. One quick side note, if you are upgrading Morvis and you want to update SOLIDWORKS as well. You might have to open the task manager and find a task that's called SOLIDWORKS underscore fs.exe and kill it. Without further ado I will start my VR environment and make sure it's ready to go. I will now check my settings for my output client. It's set to Steam VR, where I could also choose OpenXR if I was to use, for instance, a MetaQuest HMD. I will set my anti-aliasing matching my computer hardware power. I'll take a quick sneak peek that the NVIDIA Quadro driver is enabled to run on the workstation app dynamic streaming setting under the manage 3D settings. And now I can already start my Morbus client. And SOLIDWORKS. For versions of Morbus older than August 2024, it was required to make a setting in the SOLIDWORKS options. This is no longer the case. Ok, now that SOLIDWORKS has loaded, I will quickly show the setting that was required in before. It was to go to the uh, performance setting and unchecking the enhanced graphics performance. With the Morvis version newer than August 2024, please make sure this box is checked. Now we have a live link enabled between SOLIDWORKS and the Morvis VR environment. What we need to do next is enable the perspective view mode for the full VR experience. This still seems a little bit off in terms of scaling. So I will bring up the VR menu and select a base unit that we assume. This looks much more like a properly sized Formula One race car to me. On here I now get a set of different options. For instance, I can freehand paint into the VR scene. This is especially useful for collaboration sessions, talking to my colleagues on which part of the car we need to look at next. I can also place markers, which also function as a teleportation target and I can add my uh, custom notes to it.
and of course all uh, modifications done in SOLIDWORKS will directly transfer into the VR environment. I'm setting for a very slow movement speed so I can really dive into this structure with a very comfortable navigation style. Now I need to imp uh, enlarge using the scale so I can then really look into things here. Thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial on how to use SOLIDWORKS 2024 with the Morvis VR Bridge software. Morvis easily enables you to directly bridge SOLIDWORKS and 40 other professional applications into virtual reality environments. These environments can be head-mounted displays like MetaQuest HMDs, HTC Vive, Valve Index, the Vario HMDs, the Pico HMDs and many many more devices. Additionally, Morvis also powers glasses-free 3D displays as well as 3D projectors in a Powerwall setup, in a simple stereoscopic setup or as a cave setup. Thank you so much for watching. To uh, obtain your free 14-day try license of the Morvis software, simply visit www.more3d.com. The installer of the Morvis software is under Support Software Downloads. And after installation through our handy activation tool, you can easily request your free 14-day trial license free of charge. If you ever have any trouble in using our software products, do not hesitate to contact us under support at more3d.com.